Okay, so good evening everyone. So we are going to be tackling or giving our reaction about the um, gay writing in the Philippines by gay, uh, the gay literature, which is a, a poet and a critic writer, J. Neil C. Garcia. So Garcia analyzes the representation of LGBTQ individuals in literature, media, and popular culture. Exploring how this representation shapes perception, challenges, and stereotypes, and contribute to overall understanding of queer identities. He explored the intersections of sexuality, gender, and power, discussing how these dynamics influence personal and collective identities within LGBTQ community. Garcia often highlights the social and political struggles faced by the queer individuals in the Philippines. As a poet and critic, Garcia examines the role of language and literature in queer expression and representation. He delves into the works of LGBTQ plus writers and discusses the importance of storytelling and artistic expression in shaping queer narratives. Garcia engaged with various theories and concepts within queer studies, including um, queer theory, uh, gender per performativity, and of course the, pal uh, the, the politics of desire. He applies these frameworks to analyze literary texts, cultural, cultural phenomena, and social, social dynamics. So I think the purpose of the essay by Neil C. Garcia is um, his essay essays aim to critically analyze and interpret literature, media, and cultural artifacts through queer lenses. He examines how these representations shape perception, challenge stereotypes, and contribute to all understanding of queer identities. Garcia's essays often to engage with the social and political aspects of LGBTQ experiences, particularly, particularly with the Filipino context. He may address issues such as LGBTQ rights, discrimination, activism, and of course, the struggle faced by queer individuals in the Philippine society. Through his essays, Garcia contributes to the body of knowledge within queer studies and Filipino literature. He offers insights, theories, and perspective that expands on understanding of queer identities, literatures, and of course, cultural expression. Garcia's essays may also serve as means uh, of advocacy of employment for the LGBTQ plus community. By highlighting and discussing queer experiences, identities, and challenges, he aims to raise awareness, foster understanding, and promote in, uh, inclusivity. Historically, gay literature has played a significant role in uh, providing a voice for marginalized communities challenging societal norms and fostering social change. It has offered a platform for LGBTQ individuals to share their stories, express their emotions, and create a sense of community and solidarity. Importantly, gay literature not only serves as a source of validation and representation for LGBTQ plus individuals, but also help us educate and foster empathy among readers who may not be part of queer community. It changes stereotypes, promotes understanding, and encourages dialogues to, uh, around sexual orientation, identity, and social justice. Overall, gay literatures play a vital role in capturing experiences, struggles, triumphs, and com complexities of gays' lives, contributing a bo broader understanding of human diversity and promoting inclusivity in literature and society. Just like me, I am experiencing a uh, pain when it comes to having an, an equal treatment when it comes to um, gender uh, equality. So uh, uh, I am so sorry if it takes too long for me to really discuss this one because when it comes to um, gender identities, gender queries, gender... Um, um, when it comes to gender, I really love the topic. So I'm going to give you also the uh, uh, few pieces of advice to individuals and communities who really... Um, pushes their self to really uh, identify um, gender, uh, just like uh, LGBTQ uh, plus community in, in, uh, in a very sustainable reason. So first is, of course, uh, educate uh, yourself. Take time to educate yourself about the various aspects of gender inequality, including its causes, 
uh, impacts an intersectional nature, learn about the experience of marginalized genders and systematic barriers they face. Uh, this knowledge will help you better understand the issue and become an informed advocate for change. Challenge and uh, number two is challenge gender stereotypes. Examine your your own beliefs and attitudes towards gender rules and stereotypes. Question societal expectation and norms that uh, perpetuate inequality. Encourage others to do the same and engage in open con conversations about gender equality by challenging stereotypes. We can create more inclu in ex inclusive environment where individuals. Uh, are not confined by limiting gender norms. Next is, of course, support women's empowerment. Empower and support women in their personal and professional endeavors. Advocate for equal opportunities and uh, representation for women in all spheres, including education, leadership, and decision-making rules. Recognize and celebrate the achievements and contributions of women. Be an ally by uh, by an. Uh, by amplifying the, their voices and advocating for their rights. Promote equal treatment and respect. Treat all individuals with respect because when, when it comes to respect, I know that for sure uh, love will follow regardless of their gender. Avoid sexist language, jokes, or discriminatory behavior. Foster an inclusive and respectful environment where everyone feels valued and safe. Address and call out instances of gender-based discrimination or harassment when uh, you witness them. Support gender-inclusive policies and advocate for policies, policies, legislation that promote gender inequality such as equal pay for equal work, paid parental leave, and protections against gender-based violence and harassment. Support organization and initiatives that work towards gender equality and contribute to positive change. Next, or the last one, is engage in allyship. Actively support and uplift marginalized genders, listen to their experiences, validate their concerns, and actively work towards dis dismantling the barriers they face. Use your privilege and platform to advocate for their rights and amplify their voice. So, thank you so much for listening and watching this video. God bless one. God bless you, everyone.